Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning, and welcome to today's products in focus. Um, the US there, there had a very strong rally yesterday, getting up close to its 55 period SMA. Pausing for breath right now with ADP private payrolls firmly in focus, leading on to non-farm payrolls on Friday as well. Most global markets uh, doing doing very nicely on uh, on uh, a potential uh, deal in Greece as well. Euros well supported, dollars on the back foot, um, but we're still in the middle of ranges. Seventeen seven thirty eight is next potential resistance in the US thirty. Moving on to UK one hundred. Look at that. Yesterday we almost hit and all pretty much bang on the all time high. 6906.8 is the uh, is a potential uh, resistance there. We've come off a little bit just now as people start to sell close to this all-time high. That is absolutely significant. Now, you know, there's still so much turmoil in the world. There's people still cutting interest rates and everything else like that. But yet the FTSE, because uh, crude prices have recovered quite strongly, resource and oil companies moving up nicely, we are almost at all-time highs on the UK 100. So once we break that, uh, that's a technical breakout. Um, if you look what happened in the Germany 30, it kept on going. Now, obviously, there's no guarantee it's going to happen in the UK 100 as well, but it's significant when you reach an all-time high and you break through it. US, uh, the Japan 225, potential support at 17,496. Longer-term potential resistance, 18,306. Dollar yen will be a, a, a keen um, substitute for pushing this stat a little bit higher. And then if we have, uh, have a look there at dollar yen, um, it's not moving in exactly the right direction. The yen is getting a little bit more traction because the dollar is basically losing strength uh, as people are buying into equities. Um, we are looking as ever 117 spot 36 is a consolidated to remove uh, and we're failing to break higher cap by that 21 period SMA. So let's look at West Texas. Absolutely phenomenal day yesterday, almost 8% up, which is incredible. I can't believe West Texas almost hit $54.85. Still moving back to the, to the upside right now. People will be looking at um, $54, $55 as a potential reversal area. If uh, West Texas can break on through and rechallenge 60 again, I think that's massively significant. It's amazing how quickly things can turn around in just three days. Um, what is interesting is that it pushed on so much higher only to get pushed back again, which means there are some bearish aspects to it. But it's really going to help World at Shell, Primary Oil, BP, Exxon, BHP, Rio, everything else like that. So um, very interesting move there on West Texas. Looking at gold, um, gold not doing a huge amount, even with the dollar weakness and people still doubting about the interest rates in America. Um, factory orders shrunk a lot yesterday. Um, I would have expected maybe gold to have a little bit more love as that uh, you know, higher interest rate in the US looks to be more distant as the data keeps on missing. Um, but nevertheless, looks at 1254 as potential support, uh, which also bounced around that 21 period SMA. Other technicals uh, are, you know, we had a crossover with the MACD, we had uh, a cross in the RSI and so stochastic there as well. Um, so maybe that's adding technical pressure, but we're not getting a huge amount of love on gold. If we look at euro dollar, euro dollar had a massive spike again yesterday as that Greek deal looked possible. Dollar on the back foot because of weaker macro data. We're getting closer to one spot 1642, but also the 21 period SMA. The other technicals are all bullish. You got a crossover in the MACD, crossed over the RSI, and it's still fantastic there. Um, so maybe we might get quite close to one spot 1642. Um, but it depends on how the macro data comes out of the US as ever. Finishing up with GBP USD, uh, also had a good day yesterday as the momentum uh, steam came out of USD. One spot 51.85 is a potential resistance. Longer term potential support, one spot 48.13 as ever. So economic data wise, the PMI from China was okay. Um, German PMI was better than expected. Uh, Eurozone PMI came out better than expected, which is all pretty decent to be fair. ADP private pay payrolls at 115 today, that will be interesting. PMI at 3 o'clock and then petroleum data, which would be good for West Texas. It's been a big figure the last couple of weeks, so I wouldn't be surprised if it comes out pretty big again, which would add pressure. Fast forwarding on to Thursday, you've got manufacturing orders from Germany. Uh, you've got Bank of England, that will be as expected. Uh, unemployment claims uh, in the US and trade balance data. So a decent amount of fundamentals today and tomorrow to help drive the markets. Keep your eye on the chart form as ever. Make insights part of your late going forward. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happens.